There's a new primetime newscast coming to cable on WGN America, and it will be powered by stories from next star nations across the country, including our own right here at News 2. It is called News Nation. It will premiere September 1st. Joining us now is from Chicago in their studios. We have Marnie Hughes and Rob Nelson. They will be helping anchor this, and we are going to talk to them live in just a couple of seconds here as we talk about this new cable show. It's a little News Nation, it's called. And it isn't just one newscast coming from one city. It is a newscast coming out of one city, but all Next Star stations are powering it. Do we have Marnie and uh, Rob yet? Yes, we do. There they are. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, Brendan, us, what's up? Hey, Hi, Brendan. Hi, how are you? Tell us a little bit about News Nation, please. Yeah, we'd love to chat about it. So we're, we're very excited and I think also feeling very privileged to be part of this. I think we all see the opportunity that we have before us. News Nation launches September 1st on WG in America. It's a three hour newscast in prime time on cable. And what we love most is that we're gonna do something that we don't think anybody else is doing right now, which is bring you news from the center. That's uh, from Chicago and also from the center when it comes to the, the news that we cover and how we cover it. Uh, we believe we're about balance and not bias and so that's the lane we've chosen and we're really excited because it gets back to our journalistic basics and telling good stories reporting the facts and at the end of the day you get to decide how you feel about it the other thing we really like about this opportunity Brendan is the ability to use stations like yours there in Charleston a good example is our coverage of East Aeas this past week during our rehearsals we were able to tap into our next door stations up and down the East Coast and it gave us an example and an idea of how this newscast will look with our ability to pivot to any one of these stations around the country and share with people what's happening at a moment's notice. Fact-based and unbiased at a time, many are criticizing cable networks right now for not being that way. So this is definitely a little different, isn't it? Well, I think what we're doing is we're acting on what people told us that they wanted. I think we've talked to lots of people. Research has shown us. Our friends and family tell us. Uh, we'd like a newscast like the one that you say you're going to set out and produce. And so we're really taking that and running with it. And I think we're all really excited, uh, one, about the idea, but two, about the reaction that we're already getting. I think there's a hunger for this type of newscast. And as we kind of all have said, we're not reinventing the wheel. Uh, this used to exist, um, but we want to do it in a fresh way and we can lean as Joe said on the so many resources that next star provides to really get boots on the ground where stories are happening fast and accurately and really add some depth to our newscast we have the luxury of three hours and we're going to use it to our advantage well I think too and not to be critical of our competition because look they're some of the biggest names and networks in cable television news and we're sort of the the little engine that could here and we realize this is uh, not going to be an easy mountain to climb, but we're willing to climb it because, as you point out, a lot of the content filled on cable is opinion and talk. If you want to listen to people sit around for three hours and talk about the president, there are plenty of options for that, and they have their lane, and the best to them, we're going to stay in our lane and do what we do, and I think you'll notice a huge difference when you watch starting September 1st. Yeah, it's certainly a big digital aspect to this, too. You're on air for three hours, but really 24-7 News Nation. Oh, you have to be in this day and age. So right now we're sitting in our newsroom, which also has a studio in it. And uh, just across from us, we have a digital set. And so we're ready to go online when breaking news happens 24-7, uh, in addition to our three-hour newscast each night. But we also recognize that we have to make news accessible for people, uh, easy to find. And so on multiple platforms, we'll be there with News Nation Now. We have an app that launches on September 1st, along with our website. And for people looking to find us on on TV, uh, we like to turn you to WGNAmerica.com right now because there's a easy tab. You put in your zip code and it will tell you exactly where to find us on your dial for your cable provider. Yeah, I'll tell you, we here in the Next Star family are certainly excited about this coming up in September. Marnie Hughes, Rob Nelson, thank you so much for joining us and spreading the word about this. Thank you, Brendan.